Hello, hello boys and girls, and welcome to the next episode of Kids Catechisms. Today we're going to be looking at the 19th, 20th and 21st Catechism, all about the soul. Ooh. Have you a soul as well as a body? Hmm. So we learned back in our last episode that God gave Adam and Eve a soul when he created them. And he's also given us a soul as well. So yes, we do have a soul that can never die. Nice. So let's see what it says in God's word about a soul. Turn with me now to the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 12, and we're looking at verse 30. This is what it says, boys and girls. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind and with all your strength. Our Lord Jesus Christ mentions the soul here and he mentions it many other times throughout scripture. But here in Mark chapter 12 verse 30, he's saying that the soul that God has given us, we've also to love him with it too. On to Catechism 20. How do you know you have a soul? Well, it's pretty obvious really. God's Word, the Holy Bible, tells us that we have a soul. Well, we know, boys and girls, that God's Word is true and correct. And we can trust it when it tells us that we have a soul. Just like we read last time, boys and girls, Jesus mentions the soul again in Mark chapter 8, verses 36 and 37. This is what it says. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul. For what can a man give in return for his soul? And here Jesus is saying that our soul is very, very precious and is the most important part of who we are. So we must look after it. Yep. Now let's hear that 21st Catechism. What is a soul? Like we have just learned about, boys and girls, the soul is the most important part of who we are because it is the part of us that knows and loves God. You can't see your soul because it is who you truly are and it's what God has created you with that makes you, well, <laughs> you. Let's hear those catechisms one more time. Have you a soul as well as a body? Yes, we all have a soul that will never die. To infinity and beyond! How do you know you have a soul? Because God's word, which is true and correct, tells us. What is your soul? Hmm. It is what God has created you with that makes you, you. And also so that you can love and know God. Let's pray and thank God for everything that we have learned today. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for your word and for all the things that we have learned today, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you have created us with a soul, a soul that will never die, and a soul that you have given us so that we can love you and know you, our Heavenly Father. I just pray that you help the boys and girls understand this. Lord, because I know it can be strange and difficult to understand, Lord, but I hope this makes things easier for them, Lord. I pray that you continue to help them, help them grow in their faith and their love for you and for your word, Lord. I pray this all in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. And everybody says, Amen. Well, boys and girls, that's all we have time for today. But remember, as always, we read God's word. We listen to God's word and we stay strong in God's word. Good bye. Yeah. Hey boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that episode. But before you go, I just want to remind you and all the parents out there that you can go back through all of the catechisms that we've done, starting from the beginning and working your way through them. And it's a good thing to do this because it helps us understand who God is, who we are, and how we can glorify 
him. You can catch all of our episodes on our website at hopeunited.org.uk forward slash hope kids or you can check them out on our YouTube channel as well. We also have a Hope Kids Club on a Thursday evening at 7pm where you can come and join us. We have lots of fun and games learning about God. And don't forget our Sunday services at 11am and 5pm as well. We would love to see you there. Catch you in the next one.